Midweek Maction returned to Waldo Stadium Tuesday night as Western Michigan took on the Ball State Cardinals with first place in the MAC West Division on the line. John Wassing passed for 124 yards and rushed for 131 yards and a touchdown, while teammate Levante Bellamy added 157 yards on the ground and three rushing touchdowns, including the game-winning score late in the fourth quarter. The Bronco defense put pressure on the Ball State quarterback all night long and came up with some timely second-half stops as the Broncos defeated Ball State 35 to 31 to take over first place in the Mac West division, get bowl eligible and complete an undefeated home season. I'm Robin Hook coming up. Head coach Tim Lester joins me for all the highlights on week 10 of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is presented by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. And by Shupan. They know metal and plastic inside and out, creating a better environment through recycling. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese. I don't believe there is any Thin Crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Thin Crust Pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just $6.49. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. We're inside the all-new seven-passenger ascent from Subaru, which has the same DNA as the entire lineup of Subarus. You get the great fuel economy with the beauty of all-wheel drive to get you through that lake effect snow, the low center of gravity from the boxer engine, along with the best crash avoidance system on the market today called EyeSight from Subaru. Come on out to Maple Hill Subaru and drive these amazing vehicles. Maple Hill Subaru, for a journey like no other. When leading edge medical care is what you need, will you be able to find it? Right there. When you find the perfect doctor for you, will you be able to choose her? Can one company give you the expertise, the technology, the choices, the peace of mind that your coverage is gonna work the way you want it? Count on it. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us. And to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Play fake and keep the football on the run. St. Clay ran for 60 yards. He's at the 20 to the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Western Michigan. John Wassing takes it to the house. John Wasink using his legs Tuesday night to help Western Michigan complete an undefeated season at home with a 35-31 win over Ball State. John rushed for over 100 yards and scored that touchdown. Coach Lester's with us. Big game for your quarterback. Good game for your whole team and a big win at home. It was a big game. Big, uh, big implications, you know, against a team that's been playing really well. And, uh, you know, we, we needed we needed John's legs, you know, and so he, he rushed for 130 yards and, and read the ends and got us in and out of plays. And uh, But it was a battle we knew it would be. And uh, from the get-go, we, we expected a 60-minute game, and that's, uh, that's exactly what we got. Here come the Broncos out of the tunnel for midweek action, the uh, national spotlight on Kalamazoo and Waldo Stadium in this one. And uh, you get the football to start the game, you go right down the field. Yeah, they won the toss and they deferred. They wanted the ball in the second half. They've been a really good second half team. And, um, you know, I was proud of the first drive. Obviously, a big run by John. He kind of runs out of gas, or I think he would have taken this one to the house. But, uh, you know, it's always good to, to score first in a game and put them behind the eight ball. 
I think if he would have kept going to the pylon, he might have scored. He tried to cut it back, but he did look a little tired there after 60 yards. He did. That's not his. Uh, he has, has. I don't think he's had a run that long ever. So uh, he has one close. Uh, but it was good. We put, we punched it in, and uh, you know we felt like we could get the run game going, and we slowly kind of wore him out as the game went on. That guy right there leads the nation in rushing touchdowns and added three more. I think yeah, is he at the 20 now? 20, 20 is. Uh, I mean, you're number one in the country in anything. There's a lot of good football players out there so uh, and they know it's not like he's a secret they know who he is and he still continues to uh, be productive good job here by your kick coverage team to get Malik Dunner hemmed in on the boundary and now your D goes to work but this offense is talented yeah they're one of the top offenses in the country we knew uh, or in our league and we knew that uh, they were gonna have some success I thought uh, I thought we tackled fairly well in the first half we held them to 10 points which is a which is a good start to the game especially as explosive as they can be all right, Broncos go back to work, and uh, Deshaun Bustle over the middle. Uh, the one thing I want to say about Deshaun, and really our receivers in general, they did a great job blocking. Mm -hmm. As we've decided to run the ball more, I mean, they, they've done a great job down the field of being physical, especially Bustle. Yeah, it was cold. It was cold. <laughs> it was cold, but the fans hung in there with you, Coach. And here's a really good running back, Caleb Huntley, but Patrick Lupro gets some stop. He is, and, and, and Lupo had a good game and, and had a lot of tackles. And uh, the good thing is we had this guy running around most of the day. We, I thought we did a great job of defeating their offensive line and making them, uh, him have to throw on the run instead of sitting in the pocket. Because that dude, if you let him sit in the pocket, he can make it a long day for you. Anytime either defense got a stop, they counted it as a win because uh, stops were at a premium. Yeah, I and mean, we knew that kind of going in, that both teams were efficient and able to move the ball. And we had some stops, they got some stops. and. Uh, you know, uh, it was it was a good it was a good start uh, to the game to take the lead and then have it tied and we took another lead and uh, it was it was we knew it was still going to be a 60 minute ball game but I like the way it started. All right, Broncos and Ball stays. We move to the second quarter at Waldo Stadium on Tuesday night midweek action and I like the little toss play, coach. Yeah, we a little little change up to uh, to one of our inside zone play, kind of inside zone with a pitch into the boundary. And Bell's is good in space, so we're trying to continue to add slowly. Uh, we do have a lot of different run schemes, and you know, well, here's one where it includes John. Great read on the defensive end on third down, and uh, took it to the house. I mean, that's a big big play. Running away from guys there. He is. He's a great athlete. No one thinks he's a great athlete. He's a little bit stiff in the way he runs, so I think he looks like he's running slower than he actually is, but you'd be shocked how many people he can beat in a race. All right, uh, Western Michigan takes the lead, 14-7, and here's your kick coverage team again trying to get this guy contained, and they do a good job here. Yeah, they did early on. I thought we did. I mean, we had one one you know major mistake on, uh, on, our, on our kickoff team. We got pinned, but... You know, I thought they ran down there. They gave good effort. I thought uh, we punted the ball better than we ever have. You know, we didn't punt much, but when we did, we, we kicked the ball and changed field position. So I was proud of the way uh, they play. Gang so. tackling there, and that's what you have to do on this guy because he's big. He is. One guy's not going to bring him down. And they do enough misdirection to get you leaning the other way. And there he is again, not being able to sit set his feet in the pocket. And that was important to continue to keep him uncomfortable back there. So you forced them uh, to try the field goal. They made it, and they still have the lead, 14-10. Yeah, I mean, everything's going to plan right now. We just got to keep playing our game and, and uh, trying to get that guy out in space, which we were able to do later on in the game. But, uh, you know, I thought, uh, you know, there's a big, big drive here to continue to take the lead and put the pressure on them. And, and uh, you know, Bells is just kind of getting warmed up. Huge, huge third down right there, right shot right down the middle of the field. To, they played the perfect coverage for us to get Gio the ball. but. It's a big time throw and catch on a, on a long, third and long. Geo's only catch of the night, but it was huge. 33 yards sets up a touchdown play here for Western Michigan. The reverse to Mixon to the house. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a great punt returner, kick returner, and and we've been waiting to run that play, and and I felt like that was the right time. And John got out in front. Wasik made a block, which is a quarterback. It's like the it's. I remember my one block I made, and it was like my proud and cr crowning moment of like you're a football player too, and you can hit somebody. So uh, the crowd, the sideline went nuts. It almost took away from Mixon's joy because people were going nuts for John and what he did. Yeah, I think I was more excited calling John blocking than Mixon running to the end zone. But uh, here's your defense going to work. Zaire Barnes. Is he's back? He's starting to get more and more comfortable. He's still got to wear that uh, that thing on his thumb. Uh, and here comes Andre Carter. He had play, by far played his best game, and Ali Fayed played his best game, and it's been fun to watch those guys go. Here's a toss again to Sean Tyler. Yeah, we kept we kept going back and forth between a couple plays. This is unfortunate. This would have been a big kick, 
uh, to go ahead and, and, and go up by a full score at half, or I think go up at 13 and a half or whatever it was. But And it was late in the half. It would have been great to, uh, oh, we almost had a pick there. Um, you know, just to bury them a little bit more. So I was a little bit upset with the offense there. We had four drives in the first half. I think we scored on three of them. But, uh, you know, we really had a chance to make an impact and uh, made it a close close uh, second half for sure. 21 to 10 at the half. We'll come back and look at the third quarter highlights next on Bronco Review. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch now! Galesburg Ford. That's you are for your next car. All athletes strive to perform at their peak. And meeting that goal means putting in extra hours on the trail, in the gym, or on the court. It also means refueling after a tough workout. Chocolate milk has carbohydrates and protein to rebuild muscles, plus electrolytes to replenish your body. And with no additives, chocolate milk is nature's sports drink. So after your next training session, reach for the natural choice to help you meet your performance goals. Chocolate milk, the unofficial recovery beverage of athletes everywhere. The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial, bank here, grow here. He's got the snap. He gives it to Levante, trying to cut it outside. Broke a tackle, slips another inside the five, down to the two, and down to the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Levante Bellamy. Knifing through the Ball State defense, breaking tackles all the way to the goal line. And Western Michigan, with 105 to go, has regained the lead. Broncos drive down the field in the closing minutes of the fourth quarter and pull out a victory on that touchdown run by Levante Bellamy. Coaches stayed with the run, even in two-minute drill. Yeah, we had plenty of timeouts, and uh, so we knew we could stop it. And uh, we had a great return on that drive, which, which made me feel more comfortable about giving the ball to Bellamy. He was feeling it at that point and uh, you know, wanted to make sure we kept feeding him. All right, the Broncos and... The Ball State Cardinals, after the half, Ball State would get the football, and you kicked off to them. Coach, your kick coverage team has been outstanding at or near the top all season long in the MAC, but this time the guy got away. He did. I mean, they, uh, we've been one of the best in the country at this, and uh, this is the one time that uh, we let one get by. Terrible timing. We did not play a good third quarter, and, and uh, offensively we, we didn't score. Uh, defensively, we played, we gave him up a touchdown, and then obviously uh, that was the, the biggest thing. We had a great return here. Uh, they got us for a block in the back right there on 24. Uh, you know, so we, they got a, this is a great return. I thought we were going to answer a touchdown with a touchdown. <laughs> it sure looked and, like uh, it. And unfortunately, it brought us all the way back, and that, that was a tough one. We've been saying all year Mixon's going to take one back, but uh, he's had a lot of close calls. That one got called back, so you got to go to work from deep in your own territory. Yeah, and, and you know, with, when you run the ball well, you know, John, here's John pulling it again, getting the first down. We still change the field position. You know, that's the worst thing you can do. If you're not going to score, at least change the field position, and we did that. Sky Moore misses a block here, which unfortunately forced us to punt it, and we, he was really connecting on, on the punts, and uh, Riley Miller does a great job of sucking in our players, and he unfortunately kicked that a little bit too far. That hit at the 10 and just rocketed into the end zone. That was a 60-yard bomb by Nick. He did. He's getting more and more comfortable. And, you know, I think he averaged 55 yards a kick, which is uh, by far his his long uh, of his career in, in his two years here. So he's getting better and better. 
All right, trying to get those running backs on the ground. Caleb Huntley is a load, and as we said earlier, it takes more than one guy, unless it's Trey Hayward. Yeah, <laughs> and that was the fourth down stop. That was a huge stop in the game. I felt like they were they were about to make it. They could, they could have swung the momentum, kind of like we could have in the end of the first uh, uh, half, and uh, our defense came up with that stop and the stop at the end, and that's what, I, that's what we needed. This was your second punt of the game, and this one also just trickled in there. I thought he was going to pin him down there inside the five. Yeah, we got to work on his backspin. You know, <laughs> I mean, he's he's getting better and better and better, but uh, we we haven't really put a guys inside the five enough, inside the ten enough, and we got to do a better job at it. All right, here they go to work with our other running back, Fletcher, and he's uh, a nifty little back. He's more of a scat back than Hunley. Hunley is going to take multiple people to bring him down. It was a great job here by KG. I thought we ran around and they they weren't. We didn't give them a lot of little throws that turned into big plays. They they, they ran the ball on us. They had, they got counter going on us, which we knew that was their favorite play. And uh, so they take the lead. So now we got a game. So uh, this is this is action. This is two great offenses going at it. It should be fun fourth quarter. Game on. And how about Tim Collins on a kick return? <laughs> yeah, they didn't kick it to mix. And I thought they were going to do that in the last one. I was kind of shocked that they actually uh, let them uh, you know let them go. But uh, here's Bell starts feeling it now. Start getting a feel. We're starting to get a little bit more push, and uh, you know, got ourselves. We had one sack, big third and 17 conversion right there. It was one of the biggest conversions of the game. That might have been the play of the game. Yeah, it was huge. And you know, we had one more play after that, and uh, and we kept. We tried to stay ahead of the sticks at this point because you got a guy like Bell's who's feeling it. The line's pushing him. You can see uh, the push that our offensive line's getting. And, uh, and, you know, it's fun to run offense when your line's pushing like that. Look at the stops and starts and the cuts and the cutbacks, and then, boom, he's into the end zone. Yeah, and at this point, you know, this happened, this exact point happened in the third quarter against Bowling Green, like where you really get pushed, or any play could go the distance. And when you get to that point, uh, you know, we make ourselves, because of Bellamy and John's ability to run the ball, we make ourselves really hard to beat. 16-yard touchdown run by Bells. Now their offense goes back to work, and they go right back down the field. It, yeah, it didn't shock me. I mean, they're good, and they go down and score. And so now we have three minutes left, and we got to go score. And it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to go. I mean, our average drive this season has been, I mean, has been about two minutes, two and a half minutes. So three minutes wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't crazy. But the fact that they kicked it to that guy surprised me. You know, we got to return it to like the 41-yard line, and now we're definitely in a run situation. Great return by Keith Mixon, and now Bellamy goes to work. And uh, this guy is amazing. One of the top running backs in the country. Leads in rushing touchdowns. And there's a deep shot, and you get it. Little help from the official. We do, yeah. He underthrew it. If you beat a guy and they under, it's underthrown, you should get an, you should get a call. If, as long as the receiver stops and comes back to the ball, which he did. I think John does a great job pulling right here. I wish he would have stayed in bounds, you know, uh, to run the clock out. But uh, you know, he was thinking we still got a score. Here's the run of the game. What a run! I mean, how many, I don't know how many tackles <laughs> he broke, but he broke a lot of them. <laughs> into the end zone and the Broncos use the run game in the two minute drill to take the lead with a minute five to go. Yeah, run game in two minutes, it's kind of like the two minute we ran last week. I love running the ball. It's the one thing no one expects it and we have a couple ways to, with code words to get into some of those plays faster than others. And But now we need to stop, told the defense, they go win the game. Uh, we know they're going to throw it. Uh, we have to get after them and, and here we go. Turf Monster got uh, Malik Dunner in that one. So they go to work and now they have to pass. They've been relying on the run the entire second half. They have to throw the football. And he got uh, some fortunate breaks on throwing the ball away when he's in the grasp of a uh, defender. In the NFL, I think those they, are sacks. They, they, those are sacks. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I think the, those are all sacks. And, uh, but, you know, they, the greatest part is their defense. They came up, he was under pressure. We had a three man rush against their five and six. and. We make them check down even on fourth and ten. We tackle them and, uh, and now pretty much, pretty much all but over. Trey Hayward makes the big stop on fourth down, and you're able to run out the clock. There's a little timeout issues there, but uh, <laughs> you ended up running a play and got a first down. We did. John pulled it one one last time to end, to end it, and uh, it was it was a great way for John to run for the first down to end it. You know, <laughs> it was very uh, what was appropriate. Let's put it that way. 35-31, Broncos get the win. They complete an undefeated season at home. They're bowl eligible and in first place in the MAC West Division with two games to go. We'll be back with more Bronco Review after this timeout. Trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. 
Dunchy Body and Frame also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high-quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame in Kalamazoo at 375-2100, in Vicksburg at 649-8100, or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Volkswagen. This is the Volkswagen Tiguan. It comes in both five and seven passenger models, and now it's joined by its big brother, the Atlas, which comes in a seven passenger and eight passenger model, completing the SUV lineup. All Volkswagens are backed by a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. Best in the business. These are German engineered, value priced, with the longest warranty in the industry. Maple Hill Volkswagen for a journey like no other. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese, I don't believe there is any Thin Crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Thin Crust Pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just six forty nine. dollars Pizza, pizza. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speed 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Single to the ball, and he's straight ahead. He's got the first down. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. On fourth and two, they give it to Bellamy. He takes it to the house. Monte Bellamy's second of three touchdowns on the ground Tuesday night in the win over Ball State. Timmy now has 1,212 yards rushing this season with two games to go and 20 rushing touchdowns. 20 is it's an unbelievable number and uh, you know he, he he's doing a great job where he's he's we've been handing the ball a lot um, you know we get in close games he won't come off the field we try to get him trying to rest him more but he wants in so bad uh, he's a great he's a great leader and obviously a great player. Yeah and he really took over there in the fourth quarter started feeling it and got those big runs and you know he didn't break the huge run but he he's a tough runner. Yeah, and it's it's um, you know he has had a couple games like this where he still got his yards, but he's had to earn them. And uh, he was about a shoestring away about four times that yeah. you love when you see him in space. First play of the two minute drill on the last drive of the game was the first time he got in space, and he's fun to watch in space. Your quarterback's pretty fun to watch too. We'll talk about him when we come back for more Brock review after this timeout. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation and guaranteed low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. No matter what pops up during your day, Ascension Borges makes it easy to get the care you need. Anytime, from anywhere. Now you can see a doctor online, right from home, 24-7. Check in online for urgent and ER care. 
or even schedule a visit with a primary care doctor. You'll find it all at GetAscensionMichiganCare.com with locations across West Michigan. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu Blue and Silver. I'm a fan of the Purple and Gold. Western's Brown and Gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch now! Galesburg Ford. That's you are for your next car. The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial. Bank here. Grow here. Give it to Bellamy. Reverse it to Mixon. He's got blockers, including Rossing. Turns it up the sideline to the 20, to the 15. He's going to score. And five touchdowns. Keith Mixon Jr. to the house. 47 yards on the reverse. Keith Mixon on the reverse, scoring the touchdown in the second quarter Tuesday night against the Ball State Cardinals. But how about the block by your quarterback, Coach? John Wassing took out the DB and springs Mixon for the touchdown. Yeah, as a quarterback, that's that's the one play. I mean, I did it once. You remember when you get to prove that you're a football player too, and you're willing to block for your teammates. It's a it's a it's a memory he'll always he'll remember that. John Wassing, a special guy. He's up for two prestigious awards in college football: the Campbell Trophy, which is the academic Heisman of college football and the Werfel Trophy. He's a finalist for both of those awards. Yeah, and he deserves it. I mean, we've had some great players, Tim Hiller, Zach Terrell, that uh, won the each one each the, of those two awards. And it just it goes to show you what type of person he is uh, in the community, in the classroom. And obviously, he's doing a great job on the field. We see that, but uh, special guy. Going to need him in this uh, next game on the road at Ohio next Tuesday. They have a pretty good quarterback, too, in Nathan Rourke. They have a senior quarterback as well, and he's a, he's a stud. He can run the ball. Uh, they got a good passing game. They're uh, obviously tied for the lead over there in the, in the east. And, uh, you know, if you want to be the best, you got to play the best. And they're, they're, they're the best on the east right now. Them are Miami, and we, like, we got to play both of them, so it's exciting. Coach, pick up that first road one, all right? Appreciate it. Yep. Broncos at Ohio next Tuesday. We'll take next week off. We'll be back in two weeks with highlights of that Western Michigan Ohio Bobcat game in Athens, Ohio. Coach Lester, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Broncos.